And the pandemic turned the medical world on its head. Frontline workers had to adjust to a quote, new normal. For hundreds of thousands who entered the medical sector during the pandemic, though, that new normal was just their normal. 17's Chris Burton joins us in studio with their stories. Chris? Alex, Maddie, young nurses over the past two years have stepped out of classrooms and into overwhelmed hospitals. And many are just now realizing the impact it's had both on the community and on themselves. In August 2020, at the height of the first wave of the pandemic, Caitlin Phillips took her first step into Adventist Health Bakersfield. COVID land, that's what we called it. Like hundreds of thousands across the country, Phillips began her career as a nurse during the largest public health crisis in a century. Unprecedented times became all that she knew. I realize now, looking back, how different it was. Many didn't feel prepared. You learn about things in school, but not, I mean, COVID is brand new, so kind of learn as we went along. In a classroom just months before, Torres and Phillips now helped family after family say goodbye. I mean, the, the amount of death that I saw, how sick our patients were on our floor, um, and the fact that families couldn't be at bedside, it was, I mean, it, at the time that was all I knew, and that was not normal. The hospital is closer to normal now. Apparently this is what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> yeah. And Phillips says her first two years haven't made her reconsider her career choice. In fact, an American Nurse Journal study indicates more than 80% of nurses feel the same. But in the relative calm this spring, she's had time to reflect. I just, I will probably never experience the amount of death that I did. And um, the entire, I mean, are the entire hospital. Uh, Adventist Health and, and everywhere throughout Bakersfield, we all will bear the burden of how much how much life was lost and how much we saw. A burden she bears more than most. You know, Alex, I know you especially talked to nurses throughout this pandemic, and when you talk to nurses like that, you really get a sense of just how impacted they were, probably more than any other group in healthcare. They're tired. Yeah. And they kept going. Yeah. And on their worst days, they continued to exhaust themselves to try to save others. And uh, they really didn't have a break. You know, when you think about how we dealt with the pandemic, we were able to maybe turn things off, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, they were working long hours. They were then going home, concerned that they could bring the virus to other family members. Mm -hmm. They didn't have the option. They didn't have the opportunity to turn off. And so it is good to see that we're kind of in this lull, if you will. I know that there are some projections that show that it could uh, start to increase once again. Right. But on this Nurses Appreciation Week, we cannot thank them enough for uh, the uh, immense amount of work that they've gone through over the last couple of years. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. And it is Nurses Appreciation Week. If you have a nurse in your life, please thank them. They have done so much for us over these past two years. All right, Chris, thank you.